Nine ball is in the center. Eight ball is frozen to the rail at the second diamond. You have ball in hand. So you have all kinds of options here. You can just make a, a little angle. Top right, come around the table. I'm actually going to back this up so I can shoot it because I'm right handed. Top right will take you off the end rail, off the side rail, off this rail. When it hits this rail, it'll come straight up. And you just have to. Gives you a nice angle into the nine. And you're in line all the way from here to there. All right. Option number two. This is the one. So that's the old school answer to this. The newer school answer to this is you take a narrower angle and you use bottom right. <clears throat> or I'm sorry, bottom left. Now this you're hitting almost pure bottom. You're hitting it down at about 6.30, 7 o'clock on the cue ball. Cue ball comes over, lays up. Now I like the top English version because you're in line longer than you are with this one. You could also do, and this one's kind of cool, uh, you can also hit the rail first and the cue ball comes over and out. Now that one is a more advanced shot. Um, I would not do that unless I absolutely had to. So those are your three options. You, you have other options too. I mean, you could do things like put the cue ball right next to the eight and just draw straight back. I still like going top <clears throat> better than I do that. You could also option opt for a wider angle and go one, two, and over there. I missed the shot, but you get the idea. I wouldn't do that. I, I do the top English version. To me, that's the easiest one. It's the most repeatable 